Have you ever thought about wearing matching undergarments because you don't know when you might get into any accident and don't want to embarrass yourself in public? Well, now you will. Because accidents and emergencies are like guests that come uninformed and uninvited anywhere and anytime. Today, we're going to be talking about not just any minor accidents, but some serious life-threatening situations and how you can tackle them. If you know how to tackle those situations or emergencies, you can save your own life and help someone else too. So in this video, we will talk about a few hacks that can ensure your survival. But wait a second, y'all. Do you want our channel to survive and keep bringing to you these amazing, informative, and helpful videos? Then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and take our Patreon into consideration. You can find the link to it in our description box down below. It's about time we get started, so let's go. Number 10. Always find at least three exits. Make sure you can see three exits anywhere you go, whether it's a concert, a train station, or even a school. It could be simple or challenging. Examine the area with your eyes to ensure that there are at least three exits, such as big French windows, even if there is only one door. When a negative incident occurs, it will be too late to look for a way out. If you've already located and memorized them, you'll be able to approach one of them practically without thinking. Number 9. Raise your head and go slow. Someone is following you. What would you do? Run? I'm sure yes. When they detect danger, people frequently reflexively incline their heads and quicken their pace. The exact opposite, though, is what you should do confidently lift your chin and slow down. You become prey if you act on your gut feeling. Whoever or whatever is threatening you should slow down, elevate your head, and cast a sidelong glance in order to see the threat. Number 8. What to do during an earthquake If you are indoors during an earthquake, do not panic and run. That way you can get seriously injured. The national recommendation is to drop down, cover your head or neck with your hands if nothing else is around, and keep still for a few minutes after the shaking has ceased. A few minutes after the rumbling stops, slow Slowly move out of that area into an open space. Number 7. Being chased by a crocodile Imagine you are driving through an unfamiliar city or place on a nice sunny day, and you find a beautiful lake in the way, so you stop to go swim in it. How great! What if you find out after going in the lake that crocodiles, aka the ruthless alligators, live in it? If this or a similar situation like this happens, do not swim in a straight line. Crocodiles swim very fast in straight lines. Instead, swim in a zigzag motion, because crocodiles cannot turn easily. That way you can save yourself from being eaten alive by the alligator. This might not happen, but if it ever does, you will know what to do. Number 6. Escaping a sinking car If you and your car ever happen to sink in any body of water, like a lake or sea, do not, I repeat, do not even try to open the doors of your car right away, because it will not work due to all the water pressure outside. You can do any of these three things. First, try to roll down the window as fast as you can, undo your seatbelt, and get out of there. Second, break the window with the headrest and make sure it is safe for you to swim out without cutting yourself. Third, wait for the water level in the car to rise so that the pressure may equalize and you can open the door and swim out. Number 5. Getting caught in a riptide If you are ever caught in a riptide, it's true that a lifeguard will immediately come to help you. But what if no one is around to help you out? It's just you who has to save yourself. What you can do to survive is swim. Swim parallel to the shore until you are free from the rip current or until someone comes to rescue you. But do do not forget the don't panic, relax rule. Swim for as long as you can, hold your breath, and then stop for a few seconds to breathe. Number 4. Being alert during the takeoff and landing Be extra careful during the first few minutes of takeoff and last few minutes before landing. You might wonder why. Most of the plane crashes happen during these specific times, so you need to be extra careful. And in case of any emergency, follow whatever is being instructed to you instead of panicking. Number 3. Getting caught in a tornado If you ever find yourself in the path of a tornado, do not think about hiding under big constructions like bridges or shelters. They can collapse on you and you would never survive. If you're in your car, never try to drive in or opposite direction of a tornado. Hang tight. What you can do instead is lock all the doors and roll the windows up and wear your seatbelt tightly. This way, you can at least save yourself from the debris that could hit you. But this is the last option. The best hack is to find a ditch or a low-lying area and lay down in it away from anything that could hit you. Number 2. Getting caught in fire In case of fire, you must stay close to the ground since smoke is lighter than air. It tends to rise high up from the ground. Most of the casualties in fire happen because of suffocation and not because of burns. So if you stay close to the ground, you would have a better oxygen supply that can save you from suffocation 
and try to crawl out of that area caught in fire as fast as possible before it is too late. Number 1. A Knife or Sharp Object Lodged into Your Body If you've been attacked with a knife or any other sharp object like a piece of glass or a dagger, do not even think about removing it. That sharp object lodged into your body is holding in internal bleeding. If you remove it, you will lose a lot of blood in a short period of time and would die because of it. So in case this happens to you or anyone around you, call the ambulance or ask for someone's help to get to the hospital and let the professionals do their work. That's it for today's video. I hope this can be helpful because before watching this, you did not know what you were supposed to do if anything like this happened, but now you do. So give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. And if you have any suggestions or recommendations about the topics we should cover, share them with us in the comments section below. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the video. We will see you in our next updates. Till then, take care.